Coleman, you guys have two finalists, another All-American guy. Just what are your thoughts on the day? Um, it, was, it was a good evening. You know, it was just one match this evening. It was good. Um, wanted to push a few more through there, right? And uh, we're close. And, you know, it wasn't for lack of effort, you know. But, um, you know, overall, it, we're in a good spot. But Dustin, what do you think is, is, is clicking for him offensively in particular this week? Uh, just his belief, just his belief in himself, right? Uh, you know, he, he's one of the hardest workers I've seen, and, and uh, he knows he can go the whole seven minutes and keep attacking, and uh, his best defense is his offense. And uh, as long as he continues that and stays disciplined, you know, he, he's put himself in a good position. From the beginning of the year, he's learning a new weight class, trying to mesh into it. Talk about the progression he's made over, over the four years to get to this point. Yeah, I think, he, you know, he, he has definitely grown into the weight, and I think he's trusted in his top a lot. I think that that was a huge part at the beginning of the year. Uh, knowing he could ride these guys, turn them, you know, going up weight, it is a big difference. And, um, you know, he started early on that and, and continued to build his trust in that. And it really opened up his offense on his feet when he was willing to do that. Um, and, you know, you see, you've seen it here all weekend, right? Uh, his, his attacks, his scores, and, and then putting a tough ride on him. Have you ever been in a spot like Dustin has where you're wrestling a guy for a third time in such a short period of time like that, like he is Parker tomorrow? Um, I don't, I don't believe I have, right? And, um, you know, it, it's uh, Parker's great competitor, right? He's one of the best in the country overall, and um, I think, and I know I am, and, and Dustin is looking for another opportunity, right? Because he was not happy nor satisfied with what happened last time, and um, it'll be different, you know, and I know that, and, you know, Dustin's different this weekend. A couple of um, Yeah, same thing. We, we've got to go execute, right? We, we've they, uh, struggled to finish some of his attacks, you know, had two takedowns, you know, could have been two takedowns. Uh, that last one, three this morning that we didn't get and we didn't finish our single legs. And, um, you know, if he goes and executes and, and stays disciplined, he will he will change the result of last time, right? And, um, you know, I mean, Dayton's, no matter what's gone against him, what's happened, you know, he's, he's found ways to win. Um, you know, and he's going to have to be better tomorrow, right? We know that and he knows that. What's it been like for you being back at this event with Warren John? Ah, it's great. You know, it's it's what I started in, you know, 2005, I, I guess, um, was first one. And, um, you know, it, it just, with the fan base and the expectation, right, what we expect to win. We expect to have guys in the finals. We expect to have multiple All-Americans, you know. And, um, you know, I, I just, it, it's home for me. And, and it, it, you know, and, and that changed in 2004 when I moved there, and they made it home for me, the people there. Um, so it's great to represent it. Unbelievable university, and, and uh, we're looking forward to winning some more matches. Isaac had a kind of up and down into the year. Yeah. For him to finish the way he has going into tomorrow, obviously, job's not done yet. But but what, what's that kind of shown you about him? Well, you know, he went through, you know, starting in January, he hit about every guy, top 10 guy in the country, it seemed like, right? So up and down, yeah. Uh, but it wasn't for lack of competition, right? Uh, he just stayed in the pack. You know, he, he, he stayed with it, um, worked his tail off. Um, and, you know, he made some adjustments. I thought that, you know, his matches today, that blood round match was, was uh, you know, takes takes a lot of heart, you know, get a third period takedown and then another one right back in overtime, right? Um, uh, that's not easy to do against a tough competitor, you know. So uh, just happy for him and where he's at. And, you know, like you said, we're looking forward to getting a couple more wins and it we'll, won't get easier tomorrow, I can tell you that. Seems like every interview that there's been for a wrestler this week and they've asked about you and what you brought to this program, what do you feel like you've contributed this season being back on staff? No, I don't know. Not, I mean, it was just me being me, right? I just think that um, I didn't. I haven't done anything special. It's, it's, uh, you know, been unbelievable to work with Coach and, and, and uh, just get back under his guidance a little bit and pick his brain. And, um, you know, it's, it's a group of guys. It's, it's, it's not just the 10 here, but it's the 40 back home. And, um, you know, when you have a bunch of soldiers and guys that just want to do whatever, you know, is asked of them in, in the right way. And, and um, you know, it, ma it makes your job a lot easier. Right? And it's a joy to go in that room every day. It's a joy to watch them work every day because they do it. Um, you know, and it's, I just look at it as how I can enhance the university and, and, and make Coach Smith the best he can be. And that's, that's what my job is.